Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War, and it's time to get started once again. Uh, so yeah, we've, we've had some pretty successful missions the last couple of times. Um, let's go ahead and take a look if there's any missions we want to send on an infiltration, because we don't have one of those yet, although I do. I'm just going to finish that supplies real quick. New staff available. Yep, that's how that works. Um, okay, so yeah. What do we have here? We only have three days on both of these missions, unfortunately, so I don't think we're going to be able to get in a usable squad. Could get in a squad, but that squad would probably die. And I'm tired of having missions where I fucking die. <sighs> so we've got to, I think we've got to have a decent squad at this point. I'm trying to play a little bit more conservatively still. Uh, well, though everyone is recovering from their wounds, so we might have enough for two full squads again. Let's go ahead and review this target. 31 intel, very light. Expires in one day. Never mind. I was like, wow, you know, we can get that done pretty quickly, and then no, it just expired. Um, what is this one? We could get an engineer, extremely light. That one is 100%. Well, never mind. It's done in 11 hours. What the fuck, man? Who are we going to send on that mission? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because I'm, I really don't want to have to go in with zero infiltration. <laughs> that seems like a really bad plan. Ugh. Another gorilla target, sure, sure. A grenadier and an intel pack. One day, come on, man. <laughs> I, we could use intel to boost the infiltrations, but I don't want to use my intel on boosting infiltrations. <laughs> Another one. Um, four days, ten hours. It's a little bit better, and it counters a dark event. We'll just try it. See who the hell we can bring on this goddamn thing. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I don't even know who this is. Um... Our, our fucking assigned slots are so out of whack. <laughs> okay, let's just remove everybody. Who are we bringing? We're, everybody's available. Everyone recovered from their wounds. That's fantastic. But who's our four best on a mission? Bring in Victor. We're bringing Kasumi. Uh, we're bringing you. Uh, we're probably bringing me here. Uh, because he does have the range. So that sort of supplies our, our, our high damage, long range, close range high damage specialist just for the hacking ability because we do need to recover an item which probably requires hacking um, and we've got our big explosions dude uh, if we could I would probably bring another grenadier or a gunner but I don't think we have the room even if we bring Owen yeah that's gonna take up too much space so this squad is like our A team it might be a little bit close because it is on very light instead of extremely light so it could get a little bit scary out there, but I have all confidence in our strongest units here that they can get the job done. So we'll send them in. Good luck, guys. Get, get in there. Go. Faster. Schnell. And it's back. Okay. Um, anything else? I think we're just certain. Oh, we did get combat armor done, which is great. Too bad we couldn't throw them on our last units, but we might as well... Go ahead and take a look here. New item available, predator armor. New research available, battle armor and mobile armor. And the prototype added to inventory. Not sure what the prototype is. Um, so we can do our basic research. We can render some shit. Or we can do resistance radio. Don't we already have that one? Isn't that like the first goddamn thing we researched? Whatever. I mean, we might as well. I have no idea what the hell it's going to do for us. Um... I'd like to go look at engineering now. Uh, I know, I don't want to go... I don't go to Proving Ground. Go back to here. Um, so can we just build armor? Can we build a shape charge? Huh. Um, or we can build an AP round. Bypass two enemy armor. Whatever. Um, but actual armor. We can get Predator armor for 30 supplies and 5 alien alloys. Uh, this suit provides it. It's just, I believe it'd be a superior version of this vest here. Um, but I don't know. We only have nine alloys, so we'd only be able to build one of them. Um, I would love to build more. Not gonna lie. I don't know. I don't remember if XCOM 2 is the way of build one and you got them all for everybody, or build one and you've only got one. But you know what? I'm gonna spend the time to just build them because I think it'd be a really good thing to have. Okay, now we've only got two of them, so I don't know. Uh, we had a prototype of it, I think, is where that came from. Yes. 
one of the advantages can you guys shut the fuck up i don't care um i would like to go look at the proving ground though see if we got any new things the millions of people in those cities don't seem to mind no i don't think i don't th we need to research the other kinds of armor anyway let's go back to spinning on the globe uh and we're just waiting for the infill here Oh, we got another target. No reason we can't send another guy in. Two days, two hours, though. Or 12 hours is not long enough for us. Uh, oh, the Gorilla Tactics School is done. That's fantastic. So we can train rookies as a specific class, which might be very useful because, god damn it, I have so much assault. Um, and we have new tactical and squad upgrades. Yeah, look at this lovely workout room. Fantastic. I miss the old sectoids. Those guys were so much more cuter, and I love the little creepy spider sound it played. <laughs> um, okay, so we can train officer abilities, but we need to build a section? Huh. We can promote certain people. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look here if we can buy anything. Um, oh, that'd be, that'd be nice. Uh, also would be nice. Uh, can't do these for some reason. I think we need higher, uh, higher level people. Uh, but what, if a squad mate dies or is critically wounded, gain random tactical bonuses for two turns. I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, like, it might save us a little bit of trouble. It's only 25 supplies, but I think I'd much rather throw in one of these officer training stations. Current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. What? Okay, it's open now. <laughs> I didn't get to read that thing. So we can promote one of our people. Probably should go back and promote one of the current people on our mission because they are our top level people. But maybe we can throw Javier in here. I'm just curious what it would do. Uh, so command and your turn to grant a bonus action and invisible. Okay, so those are the two stuff it does immediately. And then do we have to choose one of these? Oscar Mike, spend an action to give all allies within command range plus three mobility for the remainder of the turn. Or focus fire, spend an action to pinpoint a target and grant your squad cumulative aim bonuses and plus one armor piercing on attacks against that target for the rest of the turn. So it's kind of like what that commander has. Okay, those seem like interesting things. I'm not sure how long it would take to upgrade these people. Um, I'm not sure what command range is either. So it might have to be on somebody who's kind of in the thick of it. So it definitely probably shouldn't promote a sniper. Or even Victor even. I think he... I don't know though. I think this focus fire would be pretty good. I'm just going to promote him and see how long it takes him. Because I'm really not sure. Uh, and we can't upgrade anything. So... That's what happened there. I did things. Are you proud of me? Um, so we still only have one mission out right now. I'm not sh sure if I want to send another one now, because we only have some really shit people. It does counter a dark event, though. And we do have four days. Let's go ahead and just take a look at what we can do in this situation. We can bring Colin. Uh, but Javier is focus firing and training. So I think that pretty much means we just bring as many of our good people as we can. We'll bring uh, Colin, who is our ranger. Uh, we'll bring Svetlana, who is our uh, grenadier. We should probably bring a shinobi or an assault, one of the two. Uh, and then a gunner or another grenadier would be my guess. I think it might be another grenadier in this situation, although we can't actually fit that many people. Can we bring someone shit more shit? Not quite. Honestly, I don't think this squad is worth it. Uh, I would love to counter the dark event, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Now, what is this one? This is just very light for 34 intel in four days. I'm going to go ahead and ignore it. I, weirdly enough, all these targets pop up at once. Just out of goddamn nowhere. Uh, I'm going to keep infiltrating here, but it looks like it's done, so I guess we're ready to go. Let's, uh, let's launch our super squad into battle. Only four people, but... I think it'll go okay. I have faith. Gotta have faith. Faith, the faith. Gotta, gotta have the faith, the faith, the faith. Ah! Uh, that's my George Michael impression. That's terrible, isn't it? Uh, okay.
Aren't I a great saxophone? Uh, anyway. Oh, storm fort. We got a storm fort. Storm the fort? Or is it a fort of against storms? Anyway, let's get out of here and start this goddamn mission. Okay. What's... What are we doing? What's the goal? We gotta recover the data cache. So, yeah. It's, this one seems a little bit further away than the average data cache. Uh, how many turns do we have? We only have 10 turns. This one might require a little bit more movement. Thankfully, we have you um, for the ability to hack it from a long range. That might save us a few turns. Uh, we don't see anybody immediately. It looks like it's in that building, so we might want to throw Slick up on this roof uh, to provide some cover. Although, we don't know where the aliens are, and there's a lot of alleyways here, which I'm worried about. I'm going to throw Victor up a little bit more forward just to see if he can get any vision. He does... Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Um, so, yeah, now there's mutons and a squad of two mutons and a, two snakes. Or a muton and two snakes is, you know, a bit worrying, to say the least. That's a pretty big squad. Um, big and fucking beefy as hell. Looks like we just saw... Uh, there's two goddamn robots in here, too. So suddenly, this mission, I might just cry. Um, holy shit, I don't know where all these new enemies came from, but they decided to pretty much fuck me in the ass, I guess. Um, this, this is gonna be absolutely batshit bonkers insanity of a mission all of a sudden. Um, let's just go ahead and pop everyone as far close as they can and hope they don't get spotted so that we can maybe get an overwatch pop on at least one of these squads I highly doubt we'll be able to kill everybody in one of these squads because there's they're so armored oh my god they all have so much health the difficulty on this mission was just ramped up about 900 percent I don't know if we're prepared for this oh what is that pigeon doing <laughs> okay Okay, 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 okay. Oh boy. This is this might be actual hell. I think I think we've just entered actual hell. Um Okay, well the haywire protocol might save us a little bit. I don't know if our hacking skill is good enough to get in there. But I think we might have to try on that one. Um I would love to rocket launch through those two snakes for sure then. Just a normal rocket launcher. Just try to blow them hell, all the hell up. Uh, but then I don't know, man. This is spooky. I don't like this cover too much. They could pretty easily flank me, but if I don't move, then I can get a free shot. Okay, this is going to be absolute madness. But I think we're going to have one Overwatch, one rocket. Send, jo send Victor in there to clean up, hopefully. Uh, and Haywire Protocol one of the robots, so that he's at least stunned. I don't know if we're going to take control of him. Um, so yeah, let's, let's, let's do our best here. Let's cross our fingers, because this mission just got severely harder. Oh boy, okay. Is it going to stop jittering? I don't know. I would like to shoot it in one consecutive place and not have it go back and forth, because I'm not really sure where I want to aim it. Yeah, just right there. Pop it in there, boys. Good hit. Good hit. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. Could have done more. Everybody's still got a lot of health. <laughs> um, oh, boy. All right. This is going to be a hard mission. <laughs> Kill him. Too damn... You grazed the goddamn giant fle flash sack mute on. Oh, God. They're all alive and angry. Okay, the robots are also here. Oh, sweet Jesus, help us, Lord. And they just opened up the door, so they're gonna get the flank on our sniper, which is very unfortunate. Um, hey, everybody, how are you doing today? Great. Glad to hear. Run the fuck away. Uh, and we'll try to haywire protocol one of them. Uh, but holy shit. If not, we might be a little bit fucked on this one. I, my sniper is going to die. Everybody's going to die. I think this mission might be where we restart, because we can't kill all these enemies. Holy fucking shit, there's so many of them. We can stun it, or we can try to take control of it. But if we fail, then he's, then he's really gonna be beefy as hell. Oh boy. Um, 
I think we gotta go for the control. Somebody's gotta absorb the damage. Get in there. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, it's, it's super mad. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, see you in hell, game. Glad, glad we could get in there. Oh, everything has gone to hell all of a sudden. Um, yeah, just try to stun the snake, I suppose. We damaged it. It's still fucking alive. They're all still alive. They all have so much health. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes and wait for this nightmare to be over. <laughs> Fuck me, they all live. How did they all live? Where is he going? Oh, he's gonna take a shot at Victor. Miss, miss, miss. He didn't miss. Victor took damage for the first time ever. Oh shit. That robot's jumping down and gonna have a goddamn party with my sniper, presumably. Goodbye, sniper. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> Still got one health, though. How diggity damn. <laughs> Holy fuck. They don't give a shit. They aren't even in cover. They know they can fucking wipe their ass with me. Oh, don't grenade me, Mudon. No. The guaranteed damage. Everybody's dead. See ya, mission. Well, it's been a great series, everybody. I'm glad you could all come out. Um, and I'll see you in hell. <laughs> Holy shit, we shouldn't have even tried. I should have just called the Sky Ranger and fucking left. Oh my god. Bye, Sniper. Boy, what a fun mission. Fun game. This suddenly got really hard. <laughs> oh my god. And there's a snake. If I get coiled, I die. Are you gonna tongue lash me too? Yeah, hey, look, we got lashed and coiled. And that's the end of the mission. So we were just destroyed in one turn. <laughs> I think we were a little bit out of our league. Thanks. Just to rub it in a little bit, Mr. Snake. Holy fuck. <gasps> we just got our asses plundered. What do you mean he's got a med kit? Nobody's alive. Commander, we can't afford to take losses like this. <laughs> Objective isn't worth the lives of our yeah. <laughs> I recommend we abort while we Oh my there. god. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Okay, yeah, just blow my goddamn brains out. But apparently you can't just execute me. <laughs> we don't even have a move to make. He's just dead. <laughs> just kill me. Thanks. Okay, that's that's the end of the series, everybody. Glad you could all come out to see it. <laughs> Maybe I'll restart. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go kill myself. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, ba ba da ba ba da ba. <laughs> I don't think there's anything we could have done to recover that mission. We were boned from the start. With that kind of firepower on the enemy team. Zero chance in hell that anything was going to work out. God damn. <laughs> that was fucking nuts. It suddenly went from, oh yeah, look at all those advent troops, the occasional sectoid and a snake. Uh, to, there's two giant robots, two snakes and a mutant. <laughs> so it's like, fuck me. God damn. It's like actually impossible for four troops to handle. You need like at least a squad of six there, who are high, all high level too. Maybe even have some fucking laser weapons or some shit. God damn, that suddenly got really hard. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> oh my god, what a depressing shit show. <laughs> okay, yeah, straight up, no, no, never again, because that went poorly so I will see you next time where I presumably will restart there's no way we're recovering this one after our four top soldiers just died in one turn they, no they didn't even have a fight they died they all died so yeah good series everybody I would like to congratulate myself on making it a fair bit of distance it was a great learning experience and I'll see you next time where hopefully we can turn this all around holy fucking shit man though god damn